Hey, welcome back to Tactics Talk with Guido. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I do appreciate your support of the channel. It is October 31st. It's my birthday. Hey, how about that? I'm in my KV-5, and I am in a 510 on Arctic region. I am platooned with Rocket Man once again in his 112. Hey, let's talk about Smashy Face tank playing, because that is one of the things that's quite fun. And when you've got a tank that can do it well, like the KV-5, a great big, heavy, heavily armored tank, it can be quite entertaining at times. You can see that we are headed over here to the east side, and I'm going to try to take that lower road right there. The northeastern spawn probably has the advantage on this map for taking that lower road, but I do like pushing aggressively down there from the southwestern spawn because it can surprise them. And if you can win that lower area, you can really sweep up the rest of the tanks down here as well. But they're going to come at us with some pretty good power. Let's see how this works out. And I'm going to use some of the features of the KV-5, which are weight and armor. Now, as I come in here, I know I'm going to get spotted because obviously my friends got spotted. You'll see that I jinked just a little bit to the left there to increase the angle for them. I don't want to give them too much of a flat side, so it is tricky to get down to this lower spot. The KV-5 has decent speed, but it's not super fast. And you can see that they aggressively push down with some of their faster heavies, the IS-3 and the T-26. Rocket did take a hit. I've talked about this on other videos as well. Sometimes you've got to give up a few hit points to get to a spot. And unfortunately, I eat a shot from the WZ-111-4. Now I know he has a fairly decently decent length of a reload, so I'm just going to roll right in here and give him a punch. And I tell Rocket, no, don't do that. He's going to be reloaded. Okay, well, they traded, but that's not fantastic. And I'll give him another one. So that is advantage us to some extent, and we get a little over aggressive here now. Rocket actually puts one in, and I, I expose myself way too much, and I eat another shot from the WZ that I didn't need to eat. And now I've got the T-30. Holy cow, he was going after my R2-D2. And the T-30 has fired, so I tell Rocket, let's push these guys. Let's get smashy face with him. He gets lit on fire, but he takes that guy down. I know the T-30 has a long reload, so I'm going to tuck up in here shoot him in the back sprocket looking to trap him. You'll see there's an IS-3 above us. Watch what he does. Take another shot into that guy. I'm kind of watching all directions. I think, oh crap, here comes IS-3. But he looks like he wants to just come ram me. I'm like, alright, fine dude. How about that? Nice job. Ram kill. Or most of the damage from the ram. PSA, don't ram KV-5s. Don't ram KV-5s. I suppose if you're in a 100.01, that might be okay, but in general, do not ram. And I make another mistake here. I come out on him. I should have just remained side-scraping right there. And it's not necessarily side-scraping on the edge of a corner, but minimizing the exposure of my R2-D2. But he's got a very accurate gun, so I eat another shot I didn't need to right there. Also, I aimed a little too high. I was actually trying to aim for his lower plate. I just... You saw the cursor was a little too high when I pickled, and I end up hitting his upper plate. So even with gold, I'm not going to go through that. And now we're in a bit of a bind because these guys have good hit points. And as a matter of fact, if they'd have just pushed around, they probably would have eaten us alive right here. Kill me first. Work on Rocket if he decides to poke around. And then take down the 4202. But they're not very good, nor are they very smart. So I'm just waiting... Come on, give me that front sprocket. You know you want to do it. There you go. But somehow I don't track him. I assume I critical hit him, but I'm not 100% certain there either. It doesn't show me that I did. So that was a bit of a bummer. So we're still in a bit of a bind. And the 4202 has lost a bunch of hit points. So we're even in worse off shape. Rocket manages another shot on the Tiger 2. He's being very foolish. And right now what I'm waiting for is the guys up above to win and come down and help us. Now, that little sequence with the 4202, I was definitely doing my best to try to keep a buffer between him, him and I so that we could rock back and forth and maneuver and not run into each other right there. So I was using him as a bit of a meat shield, but he didn't have a whole lot of choice in the matter either. Neither did I. There was just no place for us to go. So I definitely appreciated the way the guy, that guy played that because he did a really nice job. That's just one of those bad situations where you got to try to help each other out as much as you can. Now, I'm late to get moving. I, then I run into the 4202, so that is a bit of a problem for me there. He shoots. i got to get in there. 
and I make a bad decision here. I try to shoot into the side of the stupid tiger, but he's highly angled there, and I don't take any hit points off of him. And I lost rocket, so misplayed that a little bit right there as well. And now, really, all I can do is wait. I'm going to let him come out. Up, oh, nice. He shoots into the 4202. I get the shot and track him. And, oh, stolen. And I'll head up the hill. This takes a while, so let's go ahead and do this. So really just getting down to that brawl with a KV-5, using some of its strengths. And one of the things I talk about quite a bit is using everything on the board, your tank, the terrain, maneuver, whatever the case may be, use it all to help win the game, to help damage other tanks, whether it's facilitating damage or damage and damaging them outright. I think people forget about the ram thing quite a bit. So the first shot missed high, the second shot misses low, and the third one I say, all right, this is ridiculous. I'm going to let this zoom all the way in. This guy is not the sharpest tool in the shed. He's just sitting there. Shoots again into space. And I go, all right, let's just get rid of him. There we go. And we head up. I'm at about 3,000 damage, I'd say, right there. I'll show you the results at the end. I don't have it called up right now. I rushed that shot. I end up missing him. And I'm not going to get reloaded in time to kill him. And down he goes. So there you go, a good example of Smashy Face and one of the tanks that excels at it. I think the KV-5 is a pretty underrated tank. It does have its issues. You do need to carry some gold. There are tanks that it's going to have a very hard time hurting. But if the armor holds up, and it doesn't always, but if it does, you can have games like that where you're bouncing lots of shots, ramming guys, and surprising the heck out of them with the KV-5. All right, guys, I hope you like what you saw. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you... Support the channel, and we will see you.